Hello and welcome to another segment of the drug show here on RTV. I'm your presenter, Ila the Don, and today our focus is in the state of politics, and we are going to compare that politics with our institutional politics. With me, I have a privilege to have Kikimale in the house. What can you tell them, Mr. Kikimale? Well, go on, you don't know, it's definitely the king of good vibes and entertainment in the building. And when you see me, you know it's about to get fights, good vibes, and inshallah, all the way through. Call me Kikimale, call me Kiara, call me all the sweet names, because sugar and spice, everything nice, you don't know. Thank you, Kikimale. So, if you can compare the two states of the politics in our political country, because we are now in a political dilemma, uh, and we can compare it with our institutional politics. So, this institutional politics, how do you call it the institutional politics that you do in school? Mm, first of all, thank you for the question and thank you for having me once again. Uh, for me, I'd like to say to first congratulate the president elect, His Excellency Deputy President. Salute. Uh, William, uh, you know the work of the media uh, is to air the grievances of the people. The people. People have grievances. People really have grievances in this institution, but you can't air them because there's no government that even uh, looks after the welfare of the people. We, we tend to look at the SGC, the Student Governance Council. It's apparently dominant. I can say we chose uh, leaders uh, last year, but I have not seen their work. We can't, I can't see the president of the school. I can't see the vice president of the school. I only know of one SGC leader, uh, uh, His Excellency Obie. Obie is the sports and entertainment director, yeah. Minister of uh, Sports and Entertainment, and he does a lot. He's the one who organizes events, at least for his office, it's trying. Though the, the promises that he told uh, the people that he'll deliver, he didn't deliver them. So the, my main issue with the political state of this school is that there is dominance, that we are dormant. The politicians are dormant. We don't even know of people who can even uh, send them to the, to, the, to the upper people, to the upper offices, yeah, to the management and tell them of the grievances of our people. So it's, it's hard. For me, I can say it's hard. According to that, we have this suggestion box. So you assume the suggestion box, you want the person you can send directly. And now that's, that's where the problem comes. The suggestion box, uh, the key to the suggestion box is, is, is owned by the management and uh, some of a few individuals that are part of the teaching faculty that have been elected by the management to facilitate and uh, look after those uh, grievances that we hear on the suggestion box. The problem comes whereby we also need to have a student leader who is able to access the suggestion box. You know, if let's say, for example, my main problem is uh, our HOD, uh, Mr. Kipto, I have the freedom to go and write and put in the suggestion box that he's the one who has, who is my main problem. But if he's the one who has the keys to that suggestion box, definitely he at a pitia iso iso grievances there to now on ah yeah hey grievances is mingi ni mimi zina address achiko hizo magaratasi burn them to the trash our grievances will never be heard but if you have a student leader or if the student governance council was serious on addressing the grievances of the school remember this is a board that's supposed to link the students and the management our issues we're not we're supposed to follow protocol and uh, have a way of uh, addressing our issues through various channels but at the end of the day we complain, we have departmental meetings, we complain, nothing is done. But if the Student Governance Council can own up their, their responsibility, the suggestion box will be a perfect per platform where people are, are able to express their people. You know, Kiki, I want to cut you short. Yeah. You know me, in politics, I know that we have reality and expectation. Sure. So, you know, many of us expect, let's use an example as OBA. As you have said, is the active SDC. Uh, you expect people had many expectations from him that he deliver many things, but what was the reality? Uh, thank you very much, and I can love to compare this with the political state of the of the Kenyan government. We all had expectations with the previous government that's outgoing right about now. We also have high expectations of the government that's coming right now. But what I can tell uh, my viewers back at home and my listeners is. Uh, let us not be fully dependent on the government. Also play your part as a citizen of this nation in making this country a beautiful and a better place for you to grow, move about your businesses, and even enjoy your country. The same way I'll tell um, uh, students from the Rift Valley Institute of Business Studies. We may have high expectations. I think it's a high time the politics in this school and the politics of the country uh, go hand in hand. 
Uh, let me give you a quick example. Uh, let's have a, let's say we have the student government. We have the SGC. We also need to have those people who uh, let's say if me and you were vying for the same seat. Let's say we were all eyeing for the presidency seat. You won, I lost. That's a good thing because at the end of the day we need to have a loser and at the end of the day we need to have a one winner. What is my duty as the loser? My duty as the loser is to push you as the winner to delegate your duties and to be able to give these people of the, uh, that elected you make sure that unawa serve when you So in short, you mean that <coughs> when I, I uh, when I'm elected, you become the opposition to push me. Thank you very much. You got the words right from my mouth. Let me be the opposition. Let's have an opposition to push these people. Let me be the one who goes to the suggest suggestion box and check. Ah, the grievances that the students walisema has jakua has jakua aired. Let me push you as Collins to go push the management so that this place can become a beautiful place. Many people are, def uh, are taking defers. Many people are leaving. Many people. We are in the second day since we broke. We came back from uh, the election mode. The climate is still dormant, people are not yet there, classes are not yet filled. But have you won, Have you guys made a... Uh, uh, um, why these people are not yet coming? So let's have this, uh, let's, let's not be a place where we are in a cocoon, whereby we cannot make decisions for ourselves. This only happens in primary and high schools. And I mean, we are all adults. That's why you can have your phone in class, you can have civilian, you can joke ab about with your teacher. Let us address these issues and so that People can join our ribs without fear. People can come here, learn without uh, learn in a good environment, and we can be able to have a good a good place whereby we are able to even uh, involve, uh, educate, and engage if each and every single person in this institution. So, Kiki, there is a term you have used in your sentiments. Uh, this issue of deferring. Do you can you give us more details and give us reasons why these guys are deferring? Uh, I don't want to go much uh, into that because we're still on on uh, talks with uh, the management on the issues like those. But I can say mainly it's because of the 30 percent. That is all I can say for now, and it's it's become a very big issue and it's still at hand and. And uh, we want to have a place whereby, when we address our issues, we are had as, as students. Uh, issues are uh, when students address these issues, they are able to be heard. Because at the end of the day, if I address my issue once, twice, and that, and thrice, uh, sorry, uh, if I address my issues more than three times and nothing happens, then I feel bad about it, and uh, it leaves me no choice but to go and look for another place where I can be able to be the voice and be hard. But for now, all I can say is we are still on the talks with the management, with our teams, and uh, we promise by the end of all this, we shall have a permanent solution to what ails us as people. So, according to, I've heard rumors that we, have, we are going to have an SDC in Kenya. Yes. Do you have a So, are you planning to buy? Well, I'm not much into politics, <laughs> but if it's a calling, I can't refuse, but I don't want to venture into politics. Let me stick to my lens of being the voice. Let me be the one who pushes people to do things, because I don't want to be pushed. So I don't want to sit on the yeah. You're automatically uh, in opposition. But, uh, I'm automatically in opposition, but if I get an office where yeah. I can um, I can be hard, yeah. then well and good. But it, I don't know. Uh, let's say I'm hoping for the best. I don't know. That's, that's something I've never thought of, but... People are giving me ideas, but still, I'm still reluctant on the same. But let's first deal with the situation at hand. After we deal with the situation at hand, it's, 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 it's solved, mm -hmm. then who am I to refuse a call? So, Kiki, I think we are, because of time, we are looking at this camera. I would like you to tell that person outside there. Huh? Advise that person outside there. So yes, definitely, once again, it's definitely the king of good vibes and entertainment. Uh, call me Kiki Male. And... Uh, let me tell you one thing about the, the, the good thing about being a youth. The good thing about being a youth is you can talk and you can be heard. Stand up for yourself. This is the moment where you create, uh, you lay foundation for the future that you want. You lay foundation and lay standards and policies that you want your kids and your friends and even the future people who come after you to be able to enjoy those fruits. I promised myself that whenever I go somewhere and I, found a, I find a situation that's messy, I leave that place better than I found it. So never be afraid to chase your dreams, that's one. Never be afraid to stand up for what's right. Never be afraid for being the voice of the people that don't have the voice. Like Kua, People will, uh, let me tell you, people will throw stones at you. People will see like uh, as if you're insane. But as long as you've put God uh, uh, as a, at the beginning of this, 
and uh, remain faithful to him to be a stronghold and have people that understand what you want to do and they click with this uh, vision that you want then trust you me you will go far so stand up for what's right stand up for justice and always okay na mahali ato pata viombo ni chafu osha leave a place better than you found it that's my parting shot but remember we're still in a period of election uh, things are going on and violence does not resolve anything be peaceful address issues in a good way and in the in the stages that we are in the era that we are the best way of addressing issues is having paperwork and having a voice so be that voice stand up for what's right and everything will be good keep safe vibes and inshallah all the way through remember follow me on my social media platforms at underscore kiki.male let's interact let's vibe and let's have a good vibe you don't know that has been Yeah, Dano.